MS is important to me because I realized from a very young age that MS affects many, many people worldwide. So from a very young age, I've been exposed to this disease through friends, family members, and neighbors who are affected by this disease. So it's something that's been apparent in my life for a long time. Uh, multiple sclerosis societies, like the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, actually fund fellowships to people who have completed their PhD. So these are people, or have completed their MD for that matter. So these are people who have completed a certain phase of training, either their medical degree or their doctorate degree. And these are people who are in a transition phase where basically we're trying to train these people in order to get them to their own career in basically, let's say, multiple sclerosis research. Because MS is a very, very complex disease. And in order to solve multiple sclerosis and hopefully come up eventually with a cure for MS, what we have to do is to bring really bright minds to the field, people who are creative, imaginative, and have these people answer this complex disease in ways that maybe we've never thought of before. So it's very important that we bring minds and create almost a research momentum where a new generation of people that are funded through these fellowship programs will build on the strengths and the foundation that the previous generation of researchers, clinicians, and doctors have created in order to keep the MS research momentum moving forward. It's important to continue bringing new researchers into the field because I like to describe multiple sclerosis like a really complex puzzle. And the thing is, is that with MS, we actually don't know if it's a 200-piece puzzle, a 1,000-piece puzzle, or a 5,000-piece puzzle. But by bringing researchers into the field and creative minds, what we're doing is we're all contributing to a big network of basically puzzle solving. So you know that each person is basically contributing in their own way to basically determine the disease, what is causing the disease. For example, in the laboratory that I work in, we're interested in mechanisms of repair. How can we repair the nervous system? There's other laboratories looking at disease triggers. What causes MS? Why are certain populations more susceptible to MS? Why are children developing multiple sclerosis? All of these questions are very important questions that we have to address in order to move the field of multiple sclerosis research forward. And in order to do that, you have to bring a lot of people from very diverse disciplines together in order to address this incredibly complex puzzle. But it's exciting because we know that the puzzle is being solved slowly but surely. And we know that we are making a difference in the lives of people with multiple sclerosis. And our dream is to create a world free of MS.